story, and it's neither. Um, so, <laughs> so once upon a time, it was like, uh, I was like 13, so it was like 2012, 2013, and um, I was in gym class. This is one of my favorite stories, um, which will turn into a show and tell actually at, after it. But so we were playing ships across the ocean. And if you guys remember another light story, I just, um, very actually we're going to do a two fur because this is this leads into another. Holy crap, guys, this actually is a three fur. There's three stories tied into one. Um, so we're going to go even farther back. So I remember a while ago, I lightly mentioned what happened to my nose, which if I look down, you can see how it's like it's like the tip of my nose is slanted. Like I was like sitting on my mic and like you can see lightly that the edge of my nose isn't right, which is the easiest way I can show people that my nose is crooked in a really weird way. But anyways, so when I was in third grade, we were playing ships across the ocean. <laughs> Don't you love how these stories start the same? Anyways, I was it. It was the first time I was ever it. And it was also the last time I was ever it in ships across the ocean. And so I was catching people and there were, we had three kids left before I was going to win. And so I, like, let's make this that we had three kids left before I was going to win. There was this kid who was literally a foot shorter than me, a kid who happened to be Russian, actually. Hardheads, apparently. And, um, <laughs> Apparently they're very hard-headed, and I will explain what I mean by that. And then there was like a girl who I was just letting be because I was out, I was out for the guys. Anyways, so I'm running at this at the Russian kid. I'm rushing the Russian, and he decided that we're gonna play chicken really quick. And so he starts sprinting at me, thinking that one of us is gonna dodge, and we'll just pass each other, and he'll just be able to get to the end. No, in fact, that's not at all what happened. And we're running, we're sprinting, and I do not have a depth perception. My glasses that I'm actively not wearing gives me a depth perception. And so I'm sprinting, running, thinking I had a lot farther before we could call chicken. And we collided, his head hit me right here, and he knocked me out cold. Nearly broke my nose. There was blood everywhere. I was wearing my favorite blue sweatshirt. I had my favorite blue sweatpants on. My favorite DC sneakers. Because I was a cool kid back then. And I stained the gym floor because my nose bled so bad. I passed out for 20 minutes in this, in this gym. Like, this was recessed. I passed out for 20 minutes in this gym class. And then I came to, and I was told I have to go to the nurse. And so I go to the nurse. She gets me all cleaned up, calls my mom. My mom takes me home. And from that day on, my mom told me I'm not allowed to play ships across the ocean. And so I took that to heart. It was su it sucked. However, I can take a hit. I learned I can take a hit because of that. Cause, like, it didn't hurt me. I just passed out immediately because he knocked me out cold, hitting my head so hard. Um, so flash forward three years later, I'm in sixth grade now. And um, I was 11, 12 in sixth grade, apparently. No. Yeah, no, I was 12, 13, somewhere in there, um, in sixth grade. And we have to play ships across the ocean, and the gym teacher will not let me sit out. And so I'm like, I can't be it. She's like, that's fine. You don't have to be it, but you have to participate. Because it was sixth grade versus the eighth graders. Last man standing is the winning class. And I was one of, I was one of the last three sixth graders left standing, and there was like 10 freaking eighth graders. And there was this guy who was running near me and he wanted to make it before someone touched him. And so he dove, except for he we're like, I'm running here. He's running here and he dove like that sideways and knocked me off and like knocked my feet, like dove at my shins, basically. So I flipped over him, body slammed into the floor and slid slid i survived i survived the game i didn't get out but i slid on the hardwood floor of the gym class i stopped about that far from the uh metal doors <laughs> um completely i had road rash on this arm i had a huge gash on my hip 
I had road burn on my thigh, on my, my knee was gashed open. I had road burn on my shin. Like I looked like I got hit by a car and I couldn't see straight. And so uh, my friend who was already out, like volunteered, he helped me walk over to the nurse to get some ice packs and to get cleaned up. And you know what the nurse told me? Sweetie, you should probably never play ships across the ocean again. And I said, that's what my mom said. And she said, you should have listened to her. I'm like the gym teacher didn't listen. So I, I get cleaned up. The guy went back to class. I go to the, I get cleaned up. I go, I get changed out of my gym clothes into my normal clothes. My gym clothes are now coated in blood. And she tells me I can sit out for the rest of the day. And I told her, can I be excused from ships across the ocean? She's like, I don't think we'll play that game again. I think that was an awful idea. I'm like, I agree. So, <laughs> um, fun fact. So, here. I'm wearing shorts. Yeah. I have this tattoo here. I have this panda tattoo that literally I got to cover the scar on my hip. Literally got that entire tattoo to cover the scar that I got from body slamming and sliding. Yeah, she didn't care until she realized that she started going back to church and she realized I had to watch that I was in charge of watching her kids and she got immediately terrified. Like she cared like years later. She's like, oh my gosh. She's like, she's like, holy frick. I like scarred you and destroyed your life. And like, what are you going to do to my kids? I'm like, I'm going to be a decent human being and listen to them when they say they can't do something. This is what I'm going to do. But anyways, so six years later, after I had the great slide, thank you. I drew it myself. Um, it's a sister tattoo, actually. I got a panda for my sister. My sister got a squid for me, and she, it's a, um, a chess piece, um, I guess. But anyways, so, uh, in senior year, I was excused from lunch. So I could go home, eat lunch at home, because I had social anxiety, which stopped me from eating in front of people. Really fun, really awful. Clearly, I got over it because now I eat in front of people on stream. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm walking out to my car one glorious day. And I, this tattoo was, I think, a month old at this time. And I'm skipping. I'm having so much fun. I'm like coming to the, I'm so happy because I'm a gummy bear, gummy bear. Like doing that little thing like through the parking lot going down to my car. Like I'm having a great day. And I have this backpack that has like really thin like rope straps. And I had one strap on because again, I'm a cool kid and safety is garbage. Not true, however. <laughs> Always have both straps on guys. If, you're, if your straps are dangly, have both straps on. Um, I'm skipping, I'm hopping up onto curbs, I'm walking along the edges of the curb, like having a grand old time. And I went to go jump off of a curb. And I got my foot wrapped up in my loose backpack strap and it literally <laughs> right onto the concrete, just hit hard and slid on the concrete and the loose gravel. Motherfucker, it happened again. It happened again. And the thing is that security cameras didn't work, but we have security guys who do patrols. And I just saw someone sprinting from the parking lot into the school after like from my general vicinity. And so I get up limping back to, <laughs> they were, cool kids were so stupid. They were so stupid. Um, I literally limped back into the school so I could go to the nurse real quick. And the guy's laughing. He's like, I just saw a kid eat dirt. He's like, I hope they deserved it. I hope it was one of those a-hole kids, which I wasn't. I was so respectful. I just hurt myself instead of other people. And so I come in and I'm pulling rocks out of my hand, dusting off my arm, ripping, like brushing rocks out of my hip because now I have another gash right next door to my tattoo that matched the one I covered. And like then my knees like bleeding, like I had like road burn everywhere. And he's looking at me. He's like, I was like, you saw that? He's like, I was like, I was like can I go with a nurse? He's like, do you need to sign in? I'm like, well, I'll be leaving as immediately. I just need to get cleaned up. He's like, yeah, yeah, he's like, just go. I go with the nurse, freaking yells at me. She bandages me up, cleans me up. She said, do you have to go back to class? I'm like, actually, I was on my way out and I 
spiffed it in the parking lot on my way to my car. It's like, yeah, you should probably just go. And so I leave. No one questions it. I leave. I go home. I'm home alone and freaking out. I'm like, what the frick do I do? And I tell my mom. And all she said was, were you playing ships across the ocean today? And I sobbed.